The next ship in the Thai line is the Thai slash SA Bomber, another twin ion engine craft capable of dropping proton bombs on the enemies of the Empire. Just like the Thai Advanced and Interceptor models, the bomber was outfitted with a bent wing solar array to assist the profile of the ship and gather power for shipboard systems. The bomber distinguished itself with dual central pods, one pod holding the pilot, the other holding the munitions. This ship was not as maneuverable as other in the Thai class, but could still deal damage with its dual laser cannons. The Ordnance Bay was capable of holding up to 8 concussion missiles or 4 proton torpedoes in the forward half. The main Ordnance Bay could hold a variety of payloads. It could hold additional concussion missiles and proton torpedoes for precision targets. It could also hold massively devastating proton bombs used by militaries throughout the galaxy like the Galactic Republic, Galactic Empire, Confederacy of Independent Systems, Rebel Alliance, and Resistance Forces. The bomber could also be outfitted with 64 thermal detonators for a more blanket coverage carpet bombing. The Thai bomber found its use in many frontline campaigns. The Empire used these star fighters extensively against the Rebel Alliance. Specifically, these fighters saw action in the Battle of Hoth, attempting to scourge the asteroid fields hiding the Millennium Falcon. Most notably, the bomber was used by the Empire to commit great atrocities. This fighter was implemented with multiple squadrons in the Great Purge of Mandalore. So many bombs fell on the surface of the Mandalorian homeworld that the surface was superheated into crystal known as Trinitite. The Empire employed fusion bombs, the most devastating payload available in the Purge. Not only was most of the surface converted to Trinitite, but the bombs disrupted the magnetic field enough where those on the surface were unable to communicate with those in orbit above the planet Mandalore. This decimated the Mandalorian people in what is now known as the Night of a Thousand Tears. We finally see the return of the Mandalorian Din Djarin to the planet's surface in Season 3 of The Mandalorian. We see additional TIE bombers deployed in Season 3 of The Mandalorian when bombers come to destroy Bo-Katan's castle.